Hi everyone and welcome! This is free demo version of the course Stunning Website Design and Magic Animation in Figma. Full course is divided into three parts with a total duration of more than 20 hours. You will learn how to create eye-catching animated website design prototype and advanced technique for animating and cool interaction. And this video will show short fragments from each part. But first of all, check this trailer. And now let's go to short fragments. Evolve all the time. Do not stop. Try different styles, different fonts, different directions and evaluate what you are better at. Enhance this. Make it your strong side, your strong skill. At the same time, try to learn new several skills in case uh, something goes wrong. Given the development of AI, it is now necessary to study this direction as well. If you don't study it, others will do it for sure. Design this is a race to learn skills. Everything is very simple. The more skills, the more opportunities, the more you are in demand. And the higher the pay. For example, animated prototypes. After I started sending animated website prototypes to clients, the number of edits from clients decreased. And at the same time, the percentage of approvals from the client increased by 17%, compared to the period when I sent only static designs. This works both when working in design agency and when you work as a freelancer. And of course, this skill will increase competitive advantage. The wow effect depends on your client's experience. For example, for one client, cool button animation will already be wow, but it's hard to surprise the art director of a top agency. There will always be something missing for even in a fully animated clickable prototype. For next button, I want to create a hover effect with icon, so let's select this add to cart, uh, hold Ctrl, click on this background, hold Shift, click on text, Ctrl C, copy, Ctrl V, paste and move outside. So let's change color to white. And this will be my first state. I want to create two masks uh, to make this a mask in the middle. And now I will create two masks. So I copy. Now I need to create two mask. So I copy this background, move under other layers, then select background and text and move in same position. Select and create mask. Now I have a mask inside this mask background and text. Now I duplicate this mask and move to the right. And now I go in first mask select rectangle with mask and then move this edge from mask up in second mask i select rectangle from mask and move top edge down now if i match these groups this text will be perfectly match so and this will be my first state uh, and when I'm hover this mask go up and under this mask we will have icon. Now let's create this state with icon. So select background, copy, paste and move down. Now I want to create a simple icon. So let's select rectangle, make this rectangle, 
delete fill add stroke with black color let's use stroke 2 then double click select right top point and with arrow move to the left one two three four select left point move to the right with arrow one two three four then select these points with arrow move down around one two three four five six seven maybe like this then i select pencil and create a line stroke two pixels now let's make it in the center then copy this line move down copy one more time rotate and now i have my card icon group and let's rename to icon so this will be my second state let's group so it will be icon then i can rename this mask this will be top and this mask will be bottom now i need to create one more rectangle uh, for mask copy this rectangle paste move to the left and move under other layers now i can place all these groups in same position this state above these layers select all these layers create mask now i have a mask and inside this mask i have a group with icon top and bottom then select and create component and add variant now i rename this button let's go to prototype tab and let's connect it will be while hovering smart animate easy note and duration 500 milliseconds now let's go to second variant select top mask and with shift and arrow move up outside this mask select bottom mask and with shift and arrow move down this icon will be in same position and uh, for example i can change size for this icon so go to first variant let's hide this mask with title select icon with scale tool change size maybe like this then unhide top masks let's move this button to preview mode and now when i'm hover we have this effect when this mask with text go up and down and i can increase size now let's create this effect with animated background and circles i have my frame with text and couple shapes with different colors i will select these shapes and paste inside this frame then move under other layers then i need to add blur so i go to right panel in effects i will add a layer on blur and in settings uh, let's set maybe 200 and maybe 50. then i will move these shapes closer to each other maybe like this okay after that i'm duplicate frame select first one go to prototype tab connect and right here it will be on click smart animate let's use gentle and duration it's set four thousand milliseconds same settings will be for connection between last and first one after that i need to add some changes so i will select this shape and change color so let's change maybe to this color next shape maybe let's use 
orange and this one let's change to this color also i can add a rotation so i select this shapes and just rotate maybe like this okay then let's go to window preview mode and when i click these shapes change color and rotate clockwise and to make it more interesting we can add additional elements for example circles i select uh, ellipse tool and create a couple circles with different size and uh, it will be kind of effect where these uh, circles go from bottom to top and from top to bottom and then i want to add blur i select all these circles and group then place inside my first frame and let's add a blur so i select with control select this circle go to right panel and let's change color to white let's change opacity maybe to five percent then go to effects and add background blur and let's use maybe um 24. okay and now i want to add this style this blur effect to all my other circles so i select my circle with effect click ctrl alt c to copy this style then go to left panel select all these ellipses and press ctrl alt v to paste this style to my objects and animation will be looks like this so these circles go from bottom to top with blur so on first frame i will move these circles down with shift and arrow down then copy select next frame paste and move the circles up again with shift and arrow up i will move outside my frame then let's go to first frame and go to window preview when i click these circles go up and maybe let's change speed for this so i'm select these frames go to right panel now i have settings for all these connections and right here i will change to 10000 milliseconds now let's check and we have this effect with circles and animated background so this is my components with background and product so i will select these two layers then move uh, inside frame above my rectangle then uh, with shift select rectangle and in, in top panel i use as mask now i have mask with my background and product components uh, now i need to use a scale tool and change size for product okay and now i want to add uh, a button so i'm with alt just copy by now button place above uh, my layers and uh, change to view more and uh, now i can create component for this uh, mask uh, just press create new component and add a variant so uh, my second variant will be a hover state and first one will be an active state so uh, right now i want to uh, change opacity so i'm a uh, select background component and change opacity to zero so i don't need my background on first an active state and uh, then i uh, copy my border uh, select my component and press ctrl v in this case i'm paste my border let's rename border uh, and move down 
and under background. So it will be my unactive state. Now I will delete uh, my old uh, images and uh, paste component inside frame. So uh, now I need to change color for text and price. Uh, some light, maybe this one, okay. And uh, on my unactive state, I don't need a button. So I'm select button and move down a little bit and change opacity to zero. So when I'm uh, hover on this card, I'm go to my second variant. And idea is that uh, title and price go up on hover effect and disappear with a zero opacity. Uh, like on my first uh, variant with button. So button also will go from down to up on hover effect and will change opacity from zero to 100. So I move a title and price uh, up, change opacity to zero on second variant and move button down and change past to zero on my first variant. After that I go to prototype tab and connect first component to second one and uh, place settings uh, with a uh, while hovering, uh, smart animate and easy out and duration uh, 400. So uh, now let's uh, check how it looks. So I will paste my component in test frame. Uh, then I will close previous preview mode, select frame name and press Ctrl Alt Enter for preview mode. Okay, now I can hover on this card. Oh, I have my previous uh, text effects, so let's delete this. Now let's go back and when I'm hover, uh, title and price go up also as a button and I have my background appears from 0 to 100 opacity. So uh, also we can add a kind of zoom effect for background. So in a component I'm select background component, uh, use scale tool and uh, increase a little bit. In this case, background will zoom from huge size to smaller. So, and we will have kind of zoom effect for image. And more information about this course you can find on wizardcourse.pro.